Welcome to Simple Review, the series where I briefly play a game, review it, and keep it simple. If at any point you find this review to be helpful, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Now in this review, I'm covering Slime Rancher 2, which is currently in Early Access. When playing this game, you will have one mode to play, and that is the core Slime Rancher experience. When playing this mode, you will leave the island from Slime Rancher 1 and arrive at a new island called Rainbow Island. You arrive here and begin your slime ranching adventure. When it comes to gameplay, you take control of a character with a vacuum-like device used to collect many items and slime. Slimes collected can then be placed in a containment area called a corral. Once placed into the corral, your goal is to feed the slime and collect the currency they produce when fed. The currency is then used to further develop your slime ranch. These developments could be more corrals, upgrades to existing corrals, new food resources, and so on. In addition to this, you will also be using the currency to upgrade your equipment which will allow you to further explore the island. This will allow you to find new slimes which will produce more valuable currency. Just collecting slimes and feeding them is not the only thing you have to worry about. Creatures called tar will spawn. These can hurt you and your slime. Alongside tar, you will also have to worry about feral slimes that will also damage the player. If a player dies, they will respawn at home. Prior to starting the game, you can disable tar and feral slimes to provide a more relaxed experience. Compared to Slime Rancher 1, the main differences you will see at this point in Early Access is the new island and new slimes. Further down the road in Early Access, the developers plan to add new areas to explore, new slimes, new resources to collect, new gadgets to build, and features not yet seen in Slime Rancher. And that's all that this game has to offer. Now from my experience, I'd have to say I found Slime Rancher 2 to be enjoyable. The gameplay loop of collecting slime, feeding them, and collecting currency is peaceful and easy to pick up. The option to turn off tar and feral slimes allow for a more relaxed playstyle which really helps this become a more accessible game. I did feel that there really wasn't much of a difference compared to Slime Rancher 1, so I hope to see this change in the future. So with all that being said, I'd have to give Slime Rancher 2 a pepperonis out of 10. Slime Rancher 2 is an excellent follow-up to Slime Rancher 1 that sticks to what makes these games great. And that'll do it for this review. Comment below if you have any questions, and I will try to help.